How's everyone doing? Um, I hope you guys had a fantastic time yesterday um, making our cupcakes inspired by the pop artist, Wayne Tebow. Uh, I had a ton of fun and I've been seeing so many beautiful artworks come my way. I've been posting as many as I can on Instagram as fast as I can. I think my fingers are gonna fall off by the end of the day. Um, but it's just blowing my mind at how not only creative you guys are, but how awesome you guys are. Um, high five, we'll do like a virtual high five since you can't really get there, but Ava, I've seen your stuff. Isla, you did such a cute job, I love it. Uh, Matthew, way to go. Uh, Samantha, nice work, just amazing. Um, so I'm excited for today. We're gonna keep going on with the sweets treats theme. And today we're gonna do linesicles. This is how we're gonna spell it, linesicles. It's taking the word popsicle, but taking pop out of it and putting in line, linesicles. Why? Because lines are the building blocks of art. If we didn't have lines, we couldn't have shapes. And if we couldn't have shapes, we couldn't have pictures. So we're gonna talk about all the little lines that we can do in art and just what we can do with them. And then our artwork is going to use each one. So first things first, a line, what is a line? Hmm, does anybody know? Who out there knows? Yeah, yeah, I heard it. Someone, someone's learned about a line is a dot that went on a walk. So if you take a dot, like a period, see right there? and you move it to the right or to the left, it's going to start making like a track, like a, a snail going along the ground, and that would create our line. Well, with that one line, we can do a lot of things. We can bend it and make it into a circle. We can take three of them and put them together and make a triangle, because a triangle has one, two, three sides. We can take four of them. Who knows what we can make with four? I heard it. I'm not sure who said it. I heard a whole bunch of you said it. We can make a square or a rectangle. So just one little straight line can do a lot for us. So what kind of lines are there? We'll talk about some of them and I'll give us some ways to remember them and then we can kind of do some of Miss Kate's silly dancing, uh, and then we'll go make our project with these lines. So we have a straight line, and this is how I show straight line to the kiddos in my class, right here. Yep, perfectly straight. That straight line goes from the top to the bottom, from your head to your feet. We call this kind of a straight line vertical. Can you see? Vertical, yeah. If you have blinds in your house by your window, they might look like this. Those are called verticals. Ask mom or dad, that's what we call them. Um, because they go from the top to the bottom. They're vertical lines in your house. How fun. So that's one straight line. Here's another straight line. Yeah, see my arms are out? That line that goes across, we used it yesterday in our paint, our cupcake drawing, is horizon, her horizontal line. It goes straight across, just like our horizon line in our artwork. So that's the other line. So let's all do it together. Everyone do a vertical line. Awesome, okay. Now show me horizontal. Arms out to the side. Yeah, excellent, you guys nailed that. All right, now another line, if we take and we start bending our line, we can call it wavy. So this is how I do wavy. Did you get that? So that's a wavy line. It's still one straight line, but we've bent it and we've moved it, okay? So that's, we could think of like ocean waves, how they go up, and they go down, but they're really smooth. And some of our lines we did yesterday in the cupcake drawing were sort of wavy, right? Yeah, for the icing. Another line that we have that is just a straight line that we've bent is a zigzag. Here's how we do it. A 
okay? So that's a Ziegler. Ah, oh, I heard somebody said it. We did that for our cupcake yesterday. The top of the cupcake wrapper was a zigzag. Very, very good. You guys, you guys are like little brilliant Einsteins out there. It's amazing. So let's do our lines. Everybody stand up and I'm gonna say one and I want you to do it, okay? So you gotta think, get your thinking cap on and your creative body movement. All right, ready? How about vertical? Nice, very nice. And now I'm gonna say wavy, like the ocean wave. Awesome, look at y'all. Okay, mm, how about horizontal? Horizontal, nice. Look, at everyone looks like little airplanes. I love it. All right, I got one more. Y'all know it yet? Zigzag, let's see it. Where's your zigzags? Oh, awesome. Mm-hmm, very, very good. Whew, I'm impressed. Okay, go ahead, you can take a seat now. I got one more line for you. And this one we call a dashed line or a dotted line. This kind of line looks like it's a straight line, but pieces of it fell out or were taken away or got picked apart. So this is how I do it. Okay? Um, we won't use it too much, but sometimes I might say add a dotted line or if I give a handout that says cut on the dotted line, you'll kind of know where I'm talking about. So those are our lines. Um, I guess we are ready to make some art. Uh, I would say get your paper and pencil ready. Um, and we'll, oh, we need a ruler today. Um, yeah, and I'll see you in two snaps of a finger click. All right, so here we are, I'm at my table. And um, right now, this is the handout that I had attached on the Google document. It's down below in the description um, of this video. So if you don't have one or you do and you can't find it, or I don't know, five years from now, you wanna go back and find Miss L, uh, Miss Kate's um, line handout, it's always there. Um, so these are some of the lines we just talked about. We did straight. This one would be horizontal. This one would be vertical. We didn't really talk about diagonal and we don't need it today. So we'll come back to that. Wavy, which was like the ocean wave. Zigzag, which was up and down. And dotted or dashed, which looks like it's missing little pieces here and there. So just wanted to show you guys that. And before we get going here, let me show you the project because that's probably helpful. We are going to be making linesicles. Um, what I went ahead and did is I created a really cool border that looks like a picture frame. So we're gonna do that together using our ruler. And then we are gonna draw in four popsicles and inside each one, we're gonna put a different kind of line. And we'll walk through this together so nobody's feeling lost or uncertain, but I just wanted you to have a heads up as to where we're going. So get your pencil in your hand. As usual, I have my marker so you guys can see it. And we're gonna start, sorry, I got a lot of paper here today, um, with our ruler. Um, if your paper is not the same size as mine, that's fine. It still will work. Um, I used a little bit of a larger paper because I figured someone might and I want them to see what happens when your ruler doesn't fit your page. So to create our border, we're gonna take our ruler, we're gonna line it up with the edge of our white paper. And then with our pencil on this side, we are going to draw a vertical line all the way down to the bottom. And then we'll take up our ruler and we can see we've got one side of our picture frame started. Okay, now we're gonna go to the top. We're gonna line up our ruler again with the top of the paper. This time we're not drawing a vertical line. Who knows what line we're drawing? 
Ah, nice, very good. Yep, it's a horizontal line. It goes straight from side to side. So if you see though, I've got a little extra space here that I won't be able to hit. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw my horizontal line until I get to the edge. And if this happens for you too, just move your um, ruler just a bit. You don't have to take it off your paper. And then you'll just sort of finish it off. And we're gonna do this now to our other two sides. So we're gonna do um, a vertical line over here, line up our ruler up to the edge of the paper. The line goes from top to bottom because it's vertical. And we've got one more on the bottom. We'll line it up again. This horizontal line goes from side to side. And for me or anyone else with a longer paper, go ahead and just move your um, ruler. And we've got our border or our picture frame. You don't need your ruler anymore, so you can move that off to the side. And we'll go decorate our um, frame in just a bit. I want us to hop in and get our lines going. So we're first going to draw our popsicles. And we're gonna, on, towards the bottom of our paper, we're gonna draw four U's, the letter U. It's a line, but it curves. So you're gonna make it kind of big, kind of fills up the bottom half of the page. You're gonna go down, curve, and up. So I've got one, two, we're gonna do another U, three, and four. So it's pretty big, it's not a little teeny baby U. We wanna fill up about the bottom half of the paper. Beautiful job. Okay, now we're gonna just do a straight line, a horizontal straight line to connect the top of the U and close it. So we're doing four horizontal straight lines. Very good. And remember, anytime you're falling behind or you need a break, pause the video. That's completely fine. All right, so right now our popsicles are upside down. We are going to spin our paper and get them going the right direction. So now they're at the top. We've got to add in now our popsicle sticks. Those are gonna be a U again, but this U is gonna be long and stretched. So we'll take a peek. Whoop, and then sort of skinny. Whoop. We're gonna do four of these. Now, I don't have any because I'm home and my Supplies are kind of limited, but if you happen to have um, popsicle sticks at home, clean ones, not ones you've eaten, because then ants will come, but <laughs> ones from a box or a package, you could actually go ahead and have uh, mom or dad, uh, or yourself if you are older, trim off the top of it and glue on real popsicle sticks. Um, we used to do this in the art room at school um, but due to circumstances, I don't have those right now. Okay, so I'm just gonna draw mine in today. And there we have it. That's a pretty simple drawing and you guys are doing fantastic uh, with this. Okay, so we're gonna add in our lines now. So I'll pull this page out again. We're going to start with um, a horizontal line, the ones that go straight across. I don't care which popsicle you choose, one, two, three, or four, choose one of them and draw horizontal lines across. I'm gonna choose this one right here. So I'm gonna do from the top and work my way down. So side to side, horizontal. You don't have to draw five million of them because you wanna color in in between. So I would say maybe add like four or five. I just put five. One, two, three, four, five horizontal lines. Oh, beautiful. Look at those, nice and straight. Wow. Okay, let me pull this back in again. We've got the ones that go from top to bottom, like those things on, if you have the windows, 
Um, yep, verticals, you got them. So again, now you've got three choices left. You choose which one you wanna use. I am going to do eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by his toe. All right, we'll do this one. So from top to bottom, vertical lines. Again, not five million, we'll be here all day. Um, like four or five. I'm gonna do four, I couldn't fit five in this one. Lovely. My, you guys are like little Van Goghs. Okay. Um, what lines do we have left? Let's take a peek. I said we're going to skip diagonal for now. Let's work on wavy. Those ones are the ones that look like the ocean wave. Uh, I'm going to start with this one here. You have two choices left. Either one works. And you're going to draw wavy lines. They go down and then they curve up. They're kind of like the letter U down and then the letter U upside down and then the letter U down and then the letter U upside down. This one kind of looks like it's melting. All right, last line. Here we go. Zigzag and it's the one that's pointy. It's kind of like wavy but it's got points on it. And what we did with our cupcake yesterday. So one popsicle left, mine is gonna go here. It's a diagonal up, then down, up, then down. But make sure this one has those points on it. That way we know it's not a wavy line. And I'm putting in three zigzags. Awesome, those are so beautiful, wow. You guys are doing really great. Okay, now, before we go any further, I want to have go ahead and put in our um, design for our border. So this is what I had done. I made mine look very much like a picture frame from the olden days. So this would have been like some gold studded um, uh, buckles or buttons. This would have been a little plate that would have said my name, who the artist is. It says by Miss Kate and the title of my artwork, Linesicles. I'm gonna do this again onto here, but you don't have to. Maybe you wanna have a border that has hearts all around it. Maybe you wanna have a border that has uh, dinosaur prints all around it or cat paws all around it. Maybe in your border, you're going to have um, uh, uh, wavy lines just going down. So that's up to you. If you want to follow along with my design, you're fine to do that as well. Um, so in each of these corners, I'm going to put a circle. Remember, a circle is just a line that we curved and it touches itself back at the beginning. And then in the bottom, I'm going to put that little plaque that says who the artist is and what the title of the artwork is. So I'm gonna curve up, I'm gonna go straight across, and then I'm gonna curve back down. This time I'm gonna curve down, go straight across, and then curve up. Awesome. Okay, at this point, I want you to go ahead and pause the video and take your black marker and go over all of the pencil lines that you have on your paper and then meet me back here um, when you're ready. Um, okay. Uh, great drawing today. Uh, I am very impressed. Now it's up to you guys to color in your artwork. So well, I'll show you mine from before as well. Um, I simply used crayons. You don't have to go all wild and crazy, but if you want to, you can. Um, you could use oil pastels on this. Um, you could use markers. Um, I would not wa recommend watercolor just because I'm not sure if you used um, black 
marker washable because if it's washable, it'll end up bleeding all over your paper. It'll spread. Um, so I want you to spend the rest of the time that it takes you to finish your um, line sickles. And if you want, uh, when you're done, go ahead and send me pictures of them. I'm having such a ball posting them and just share, like seeing them for myself. Um, even Spencer gives his like two paws up every time one comes in. And yeah, enjoy. If you can throughout the day and even the next couple days, notice lines. Where do you see lines? Maybe you'll notice, I know right now I'm looking out at my window. My balcony is made up of horizontal lines. Never thought of it before. Um, so look around, see where you see really cool lines. Maybe you have stairs in your house and you have some vertical lines going up them. Um, lines are everywhere and they make up everything. So it's a really cool part of art that if we didn't have, it kind of be hard to like function. Um, so anyway, I could jibber jabber all day. I want you guys to go finish your art, um, have fun. I will be getting ready for tomorrow. Um, looking forward to it and I'll catch you on the flip side.